Hello guys and welcome to this fourth tutorial which is part of the series whereby we are building a mapping application that will have routing functionality so that you are able to get the shortest distance from point A to point B. And we are building this using PG routing, GeoServer and Leaflet.js. So last time we were able to load data into our database, we are able to get the data from OSM and then uh, clean the data and then load it to our database and now in this tutorial we are ready to build the network uh, using the, the the pg routing extension and the functionalities that it provides us which will enable us to create the topology and then use this to build our application so a uh, subset pg routing provides provides a uh, applications or other functions that enable you to create the network so that you are able to build your routing functionality the first function that we'll want to use is the pgr underscore create topology and what this function does it enables you to create a, or rather it creates a table which contains the starting points and the um, endpoints of all the lines in your data so for example if you take if you take this this diagram here to be our line or our our network our an example for our network so say this is our complete uh, road and it has some uh, some stations or some we can call them some endpoints where the roads are joining maybe this is a corner yeah so in this example we have segment one we have segment two and then we have segment three so what this function does it takes this data and then creates uh, the nodes the starting point and then the ending point for each segment so for example take uh, segment one segment one will have the starting point to be a and the ending point to be b segment two will have the starting point to be b and then the end point to be C. Segment 3 will have the starting point to be C and then the end point will be D. So this will uh, make this uh, our line data to have to be topologically aware of each of each segment so that when you are getting direction from let's say from point A to point D you are able to actually get uh, to connect all these segments together so that you are able to get the correct uh, representation of your shortest distance so um, in a nutshell that's what pgr uh, create topology does uh, it gives you a table with this data having the starting point each segment having the starting point and the end points yeah so this will mean that you have to we'll have to uh, edit our table so that we add two columns that is the source and the target so that we are able to uh, this we are able to accommodate the output from this create topology function there but now we will we'll face a challenge take an example um, uh, there's a line terminating in the middle of another another line for example this say our road is a b this is one segment of our road and then there's another c d that's joining at the center it's like a junction it's joining at the center of line a b uh, this might cause um uh, so this might cause some make our data node to be nodded like there's no node not joining a to c a to b yeah so to fix a problem like this, the, there's another function from uh, PGR uh, routing that is called PGR node network. So what this does, it splits every intersection edges into separate line segment. So it will split our AB into, uh, uh, it, will, uh, it will make them to be, it will make nodes from a, B, and C, and D, so that we we'll have the seg the segments will be divided into different other segments that have nodes. So, for example, um, segment one will be divided into segment three and four, and then uh, the nodes will be for segment three. For example, will be A and C, 
the starting point which is a the ending point is c and then for segment four the starting point is c and then the end point is b and then for uh, segment two the starting point is c and the ending point is d so segment one was lost uh, when we uh, which was further subdivided into three and four so that to be able to create the nodes for this intersection uh, for this line which was terminating the middle of this other line so uh, in a nutshell that's what the function that we are going to use uh, so that we should be able to uh, create the topology and then have the our data noded correctly now that we have a clear understanding of what we are going to do or the functions we are going to use uh, now it's time we get into a database and then apply these uh, functions so last time we were able to create a table called edges so if you can i'm using pg admin to uh, see the tables uh, so the first table that uh, we were able to create the edges table and this is the table that we are going to use and it's in a database that is called root db so this is the database that we added our data so if you can uh, we can be able to view the hundred rows of our data this is the data that you are able to get from osm and load it so now we want to um, create the topology from this uh, table so the first thing is to uh, edit our database so that we add the source and target columns to the, our table so that it's able to accommodate the output of the pg create topology so the first thing is to connect to your database so i'm going to use psql my username is postgres and then i find my database is root db uh, so the next thing is to alter alter my table and then uh, I want to create two columns so the first one will be add adding source the type is um, int integer 4 um, we also want to add the target target in 4 so now that we have our table having those columns that you want we can see if actually we have those columns uh, added so yeah you can see the columns that we have this is from the the, the first ones these are from the uh, the data that we imported these are the ones that we have just added uh, the next step now is to create the topology but first of all we'll want to make sure our data is correctly noted and in this case we are first of all going to use the pgr node network function so the way to do that is to use the select um, and then the pgr node or uh, pgr node pgr node node network and the first argument is the table that we are going to use to create the nodes and then the tolerance which in this case is 0 0.00001 and this is because uh, we are using the meter as our projection unit our data is in the geographic coordinate system this is the data that we downloaded from osm it's in the sridis 4326 so this means that the points have to be at least less than uh, 0 0.00001 from each other so this is the tolerance now once we have this we can run and then we have that output it's told us that we have created uh, 4, 20, 437 edges it has splitted 80 80 segments yeah so once we have that this will create a new table in our database so if we refresh we'll have a table called edges nodded so this is the data now that is nodded and now we can run our topology from this so the next step now is to run the topology um, to do that we use basically select but now we are going to change the node to be instead of node network now this will be create topology and then now the table we are going to use the edges 
nodded from this here get this table so that's what we're going to use here and then the tolerance we'll just leave it like that and now if we run you'll see that has created the topology and this should also give us a new table that's called the pgr uh, um, nodded vertices so this is the data that is actually nodded so if we can view the data we should be able to see the the uh, the nodes yeah the vertices that are been created from the create topology uh, function so uh, once we have this running now the next step will be to copy this data we want to copy the data that we if you can see from this table it doesn't have the data that existed in our edges table so if you view this this data you can able to see that we have some information the fields but if you see the the, the data if you view the data of the um, newly created table the pgr vertices you see that it only has the job so what we are going to do we have to copy this data from the data from the edges table and add it to the noted vertices so to do, do to to do that we are going to um, alter the table so first we need to uh, add the columns that we are going to copy the data so going to alter alter table uh, so we uh, alter the edges nodded and then we add a new column we want to add the name and the data type is vector uh, and then we add another column column call it type that is about uh, the characters i think we need a comma here actually you can use um g admin to do the same thing so once we have this we can run it and you see that we have the we have the new columns we can uh, we have the new columns added to this we have the name and the type so now once we have this we need to copy um, this data from edges to edges nodded and the way to do that we are going to say update we're going to use the update command update edges nodded uh, as new then we are going to set the name old dot name um, in the comma here and then type all dot i uh, the type this is the road type so in the original table it was called highway but i'm just going to call it type in this new table so highway and then from edges you see it as give it and the name an alias of old and then you have to make sure that the new id the table in the edges nodded matches the the id of the data in the edges nodded matches the id in the edges table so to do that uh, make sure where the new table dot old underscore id is equals to the old dot id now uh, once we do that we are, should be able to get our data updated so if we view the data you should see that the data has been copied we have the name and the type yeah so that's exactly what we wanted to do so now the next thing will be to determine the distance and then determine the costing mechanism we are going to use and then um, run um, run this and then test this with the shortest uh, the Gikistra shortest algorithm and then yeah we'll be good